Hi, this is Joe Domaleski, KI4ASK, and today we're going to build a 10-meter dipole antenna with speaker wire. We're going to make it resonant on 28.380 megahertz, which is the frequency for the Fayette County Amateur Radio Club 10-meter net every Monday night. We're going to try it out on the net tonight. Stay We've tuned. just got some speaker wire here, and I've got my tape measure laid out here. We did the calculations it's just a little over 16 feet total, so that makes it a little over eight feet on each leg, and I'm gonna cut it a little bit long so that we can fine tune it uh, for the frequency. So you can see right there, I'm just gonna cut eight feet by eight inches. And again, the speaker wire has two elements in it, so we'll just peel back the layers and we'll have each end Looks of the like we've dipole. we've got enough length here, I'm just going to go ahead and snip the wire and then peel back each end of the dipole. One of the nice things about speaker wire is it's cheap and you kind of get two wires for the price of one here, so I'm just going to peel the two pieces back. What I do now is just peel back a little insulation on each end and that's what I'm going to use to connect to the banana plug adapter. We've peeled back a little bit of the insulation, let's go connect this to the adapter. Okay, we're going to be testing this with my IC705. There's, there's the banana plug adapter. I'm going to put a little bit of feed line on it, so I've got this barrel connector that I'm going to use to connect to the, uh, the feed All line. All connected up. Each end of the dipole is connected to one of the terminals. I've got the barrel adapter, and then I've got the feed line that's going to go to the IC705. So what I'm going to do next, I've already put a throw line up in this tree. I'm going to hoist the dipole up so that it's about a little over eight feet up off the ground, about the length of one of the elements. How well you'll be able to see this, but I have the antenna up in the tree here. You can actually see the throw line bag. And then I have each leg of the dipole. I don't have it flat. I've got it in an inverted V. Most of the time I'm gonna be using this as Invis. Okay, the IC705 has a really neat SWR test function. So if I hit menu, SWR, and then reset it, every time I key down, it, it keeps the power low and it graphs the SWR. So let's see what we get right out of the gate. Oh my goodness. That's never happened before. Look at that. Now we can see it's, you know, it rises up a little bit at 28.680, but right there at 28.380, that's pretty flat. That's almost a one-to-one. -one. I could probably trim just a little bit off each end, but I may just leave that alone. That is awful good. So again, it's smart to not just go by what the calculator says, but to have a little extra length on each side. Of course, the SWR is also affected by how high off this thing is off the ground and the type of soil and everything. But this is how I'm gonna to operate tonight. So let's uh, let's tune around on 10 meters and see if I can make a contact. All good. Jason, please go ahead. This is KI4ASK, Kilo India 4 Alpha Sierra Kilo, QRP. Yeah, this is Kilo India 4 Alpha Sierra Kilo. That's KI4 Ask. My name is Joe. I'm located in Atlanta, Georgia, and I'm only running five watts. Over. Uh, Roger, you are. You have a really good signal. Five, five, no, not five, 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 nine, uh, above all the static and. Okay, a good trip over to Wyoming. Nice here, Skyler, Sierra Kilo, Yankee, Lima, Echo Romeo, um, running an IC718 with a 100 foot diagonal dipole. Okay, Skyler, I'm running an ICOM IC705 with a homemade dipole antenna. You're the first contact I've made on this new antenna. Over. Okay, well, I'd say that was a success. We made a 10-meter dipole with speaker wire. 
we got resonance right away without even trimming the antenna, which rarely happens. And then we made contact QRP to a young ham Skyler KJ7 Tango Tango Sierra in Wyoming on that antenna. So I think we did pretty good here. As you can see, it's very, very easy to make a 10 meter antenna with speaker wire. I hope you'll try it out and we hope to hear you on the air soon. This is KI4ASK, Joe in Atlanta. 7-3. Young Ham, KJ7, I forgot his call sign. I'm trimming the antenna, that rarely happens, and I hear a buzzsaw in the background.